And uh, tonight we are going to talk about something hot. Yes? Yeah. Could be. Monkey, yes. Well, we were going to talk about what's in the way of having sex. Well, we actually... What's in the way? Well, we, one of the things that's in the way of, the, not, of uh, having sex is not having a partner. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, okay? I know. <laughs> That's right. I, I would really not call that sex if you're having sex with your mm -hmm. left hand. Well, it, yeah. it was kind of nip and tuck there for a while. We were talking about that this morning, about how we were both kind of wondering what would happen if we split up, but we didn't split mm -hmm. up. We didn't want to. Neither of us did, and so... We yeah, never like, let it get to that point, but it was okay. tenuous, as I had said. Friend thought there was a possibility that I might live up with her. Friend and I have lived apart for six and a half years. Mm. Except with visits and stuff. Except, Except for visits now. now and then. Yeah. And she would come to Chicago, and then it got to be less, and then there was a big period when I she was not coming. And then finally, when I, my father stabilized, this is the fourth time I've been down here in the past year, which is good. One time it was for three weeks, one time it was for five weeks, one time it was for four weeks, I think. This time it'll be for three and a half weeks, so that's not so bad. So, but the, the issue has always been that a relationship suffers, our relationship suffers when we don't, well, first of all, communicate, but I think having sex kind of broke down a little bit also. We would have it occasionally, but it wasn't necessarily a really healthy uh, sex life. And I'd like you to tell to something. What? Is sex a form of communication? Yes. Yes, yes I get. Yes. And something okay. that I had in the way was sex. For me, I had to communicate and create a relationship with the person. And, and it had, everything had to be worked out before you had sex. It had to yeah. be perfect. This is my adolescent type view. And this reminds me of the story uh, with Mary. Am I right? Right. Yes. Yes. And then, and then see what I've come to realize is sex is a communication, and through sex, then you have relationships. You go on and talk, or you don't. People have sex, they will yes. sit and they go away. Or you okay. communicate, and you learn more that way because you become physically in contact. It's in, I've been or intellectual or mental, like to have to keep sex out of it, in a relationship, and hold back, which would drive anyone crazy. And um, so they would want to have a relationship, you know, there's no potential there if they don't really feel it or see it. So that's the thing that the sex is the. the the ending of uh, um, the, the, the good ending of uh, a relationship that has just started. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Call it the ending, ending, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing in a relationship. We call it a good ending. They, so that's the end of sex. Now we have a relationship. No more sex. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what No, you didn't mean that, I know. I'm thinking of a joke about people get they have great sex until they get married. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. It's not like that anymore. Well, um, we were t when we were talking this morning, see, I don't, I guess Greg, I thought that Greg would, all the stuff that he's been doing, you know, besides being with me, was because, you know, I was losing an emotional bond with him, but actually he said that he was not as emotionally involved with the other things, and I gave it more credence. This keeps going off full screen, I don't know why. Mm. Anyway, um, 
but I, I did, I, Bono, could you help me here? This won't stay on it's full it's, screen. It's got a problem, and there's nothing you can do about it other than keep it. Well, then I guess that's what it's going to be. Don't talk about it. Um, so I, you know, I, but I realized that I have, um, I, I sort of, I didn't give up on a relationship so much as I just didn't know what to do next because it looks, it looked to me like I was, if I wanted sex, I had to initiate it myself and mm -hmm. sometimes Greg responded and a lot of times he didn't and in fact sometimes he actually like felt like he was just keeping his distance a lot and mm. he didn't I didn't understand he did he when we had we've had sex this week which was really 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 great but the, you know it, I realized that maybe Greg just didn't know like he, he said he didn't know things like he didn't know what to do sometimes and so he was pressuring himself to be a certain way or figure out what to do and then, and when he was doing that, it was very difficult to stay focused on, on being sexual. And then, you know, I just, I decided I'm just going to put myself in a state of being, you know, sensual. Sensual sexual, which is what I do also, but it may take me a while to get in the state. That's right. And if we keep, we can't talk about the state. No. It takes me out of it. That's right. So in the middle of being sensual, sexual, if, you, if someone like you starts saying, what's the matter? What's in your way? You I, know? Ha I have done that, which is really bad. <laughs> and, you know, that's, a real, that's a real game changer. That's right. I agree, yes. You know, you just, a little. But with the flow, if things come up, you, you know, you're a little sad or some memory comes up, you go, that's part of you. Take that in part of the experience and the communication is not always verbal. Right. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But there has been a re reluctance of Greg, you know, like, unless everything's just right. And I know his, I knew a couple of his other girlfriends and, yeah, they just, they didn't know what to do either, you know, because... And, and the last one you knew was in 1990. No, 1980. Something. Seven. Six. Six. Right. That's right. Well, because I haven't really met any of the ones since. Well, there have been a couple of ones that made me really nervous, and I didn't like that you did that, but I, I didn't know them. But I've asked you questions, and I can surmise that their experience is somewhat similar. Well, I think everybody has the same experience with me, is that I'm somehow withheld. I'm holding back. If you hear it in my voice, you see it in me. Um, Why is that? I, just because. Well, you do not well, I'm just saying, I've been, no, I just said sort of facetiously. He did, like you did talk, that. you did talk about your childhood and what those kind of things meant and that you really were you know, you really were like, in your household, that wasn't like having, you had to be very careful and, you know, about the woman and, you know, there was just so many taboos, you know, that he... Oh. So many restrictions and taboos and ways to be that were probably all good intellectually, but you have to develop. So, and just the type of relationship my parents had wonderful and loving and free and, and at a certain point it got harder and harder and uh, my father was working literally all the time. He was up in the heat and sleeping. Okay, now, I want to ask you what you asked me at the beginning eh? and what in the way of having sex? Time. Um, it just seems like I have to climb a wall each time, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so why? Well, because I, I don't, you know. Well, I, I feel turned on all the time, and I want a lot of sex, and I get disappointed, and 
and fr I don't know if you can call it frustration, but I, I sort of feel a little bit like I'd like someone to pay attention to me, like I'd like Greg to pay attention to me instead of my always paying attention to him and his being reluctant. And so sometimes I surpass that, and then, but a lot of times I just say, oh well, you know, he's napping now, he's tired, and, or, you know, he has, he has to go to his class, or, you know, it's, it's not right because, you know, we have to get up out of bed, and I don't want to get up, or whatever it is. And he, and he, he titillates me sometimes, he says, well, maybe I'll wake you up in the middle of the night. Never happens. Never happens. And so I, it's like the same thing as a tease, but it never, it's like, it's like you're a woman who teases a guy, you know, and never comes through. And so I just get, I get actually angry. I, I think I got angry when that's, okay. even, even though I stayed away for a year down here, I had things to do on the house here. In another way, I just, you know, want, wanted to have, I was angry at Greg. I just didn't want to spend the time sitting around there, you know, waiting for him to finish with all his classes and naps and accounting and, you know, all the things he had to do which wasn't even about his father, it was just things, you know, that he occupied himself with. But Byron also said something kind of interesting, which is, which I never thought about. He said that maybe I just left and let Greg hang himself. Like he became lonely mm -hmm. and he went through the thing, he went to the dark side, he, you know, he did, he wanted love, he, you know, he did all this stuff and in a way it was very risky for me to do that, but I just let him hang himself. And he Okay. Check if your behavior is functional. Um Well which which type of behavior? I get no. What you no, okay. What you described to me. Uh, can you can you get if not so uh, we can get to the to the dysfunction page. But can you guess what dysfunction or dysfunctions are behind it? Well, I think that one dysfunction I have is that when I don't get acceptance, just even a little indication, I start going into these behaviors where, like, I talk a lot, I try to, like, I sort of think about it, and then I back off, and I... I take myself out of it and, and you know this time I, I felt like I just kept trying to move closer like pursue it's it feels like pursuing Greg but it's also just pushing forward through all that stuff and not stopping but I would stop and then I you know I I would say that it's dysfunctional because I kind of like used food to make myself feel better and you know, I'd get lazy and I didn't, I mean, there were so many things, behaviors, but the dysfunction was, what is the dysfunction? Um, it's just a point, I guess, I wouldn't go past and I just had all these behaviors to protect myself. It's like defending myself. Okay. You know, like defending myself against abandonment and hurt and... Um, you know, that Greg didn't really love me and that's why he does all these other things and well we should just break up and you know I just like didn't know what to do and I probably should have just ignored all that and just moved forward and, 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 and talked about it. Probably what you should have doesn't sound like dysfunctional self. Oh that's possible. Let's see, is that dysfunctional? Yeah. So, so you have a, say, you know, trying to say what you did or how you are now, or what you're discovering. One thing you discovered was, we've been talking about this, and it's like, you were not, even even how you were talking about it, you were pushing forward. You felt you had to push, you couldn't just be. Like you, like you, you weren't, you weren't getting, getting from being, being right? So, right? so you had to push forward, push forward into through me. into me. Now there's, now there's all there's pushing. There's also pulling, pulling or, or attracting. 
Well, no, wait, but don't get, you're getting too but, complicated. Okay. I, I uh, don't. But, here, but the thing we said earlier was about being feminine, allowing, allowing yourself to have, to have more than just being on and being this oh, non-male, non-female, this person, person. person. you were just yourself. Well, it was interesting because when I picked Greg up from the airport, I think I may have mentioned this before, like he, yeah. I, I, spru I did, you know, dress with a little bit more care and I tried to be sexy, sexier looking and I did that when I originally met him. I was in a very good stage in my life where I was wearing really sexy clothes and my hair was great and I was the right weight and everything and I was more alluring. So when I went to the airport, I thought, well, how could I just be more alluring? And then Greg took a look at me. He went like, wow, you look beautiful, you know? And I meant that sincerely. It just was um, amazed. I know. And he said that in that moment, he felt like he could love me more. <laughs> so I suppose what I did, which was dysfunctional, was I didn't necessarily... Well, I, even when I was in Chicago, Greg, I did buy clothes and I tried to dress up and and you know, I would bring things with me that were more alluring and everything, but I just didn't know how to bridge the gap. I just, I, I just didn't. I, I didn't know what to do. So then I get my dysfunction is I just get harder and more confrontive, or you know, more angry. And I didn't know how to. I tried to talk about it probably at all the wrong times, <laughs> you know, like when we're trying to yeah, go to that's, sleep. That's one thing I wanted to know. Uh, have you ever talked about this between you two before now? Not much we're talking today. We've been talking the last few days. We've been talking quite a bit. <laughs> no, I don't think we've ever achieved the level of honesty or whatever it is that makes a connection that we have the last few days and and you know I think what's changed I don't know just wanting to communicate well one thing that changed Greg is that you wanted to communicate more like you never ever wanted to talk okay, about it the, 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 what if you were asking the question what gets in the way of having sex one thing for me was Wanted. Now, it's not, now, that, not that I didn't want sex, sex but, I but I wasn't wanting it. I wasn't asking for it. I wasn't communicating that I wanted it directly. My MO, my modus operandi, was in my, uh, was that I would, and again, passive aggressive, we talked about this, to mention it another uh, little. Was that I wanted to attract a woman who would want me. I wanted to be attracted. I wanted to be wanted. I didn't really okay. feel wanted. And so I would want the woman to come towards me. Of course, it's very hard on her you know, to pursue me, especially if I was not reciprocating. She would go crazy. That's what you know, Granny was saying. She would go crazy, beating your head against the wall, or climbing the wall, as you said. Because... Um, in my opinion, there is this stupid idea that it should be the man that pursuing the woman. Yes, where'd you get that idea? <laughs> yes, I can't understand that. I mean, uh, it can be the other way around without any problem. From the way I see it. Especially, especially if two people have been in their relationship for years. You know, Frank, would it be a problem for you to say quite simply to Greg, uh, you're looking very sexy tonight, I'd love to have sex with you. Oh, it's not difficult. Um, have I actually done that? I don't, I don't know if I've done that as simply as that. I usually just make, I just do usually more movement toward him, like physical 
movement yeah. without saying things, but I do tell him how well, much I want to. That's what you were saying about being yeah, more feminine, so sensual, that you are saying, you're saying the, woman the woman really has to be sexual because it brings out the man, and supports, supports the man and being himself. It's usually, it's usually the people look at the woman as being the sexual one, one and not the man. The man is just there, but the woman is doing that, but the man is reciprocating and being in manliness. It definitely does help me. If you, you know, you, and I respond to that. You say, you, you, you said this, and when you say you're really sexy or something, you said this like talking about the past when I was, when you first met me, I was very seductive and sensual because of how I moved. I was a dancer, I was a modern dancer, and I was used to coming from a full body and very physical and my I didn't think of it that way but my whole being, my midsection was alive and more recently I've become more hitty partly from being around my father a lot partly from just a choice, it was just something I did um, what would the, your reaction be, um, Greg, if Randy told you what I uh, said uh, a few minutes ago? Would you feel uh, scared? Or would, you, would you feel good? I would feel, I, would feel, uh, I, I feel good when she says that. I, and she does now and then say something, oh, your hair looks good. I, I look at that and I feel good. It's, it's, there, she does that. A lot. I know that she's attracted. She often says, "Oh, I'm. I want you, or I'm trying to without saying, I want you, and you've got to perform now." <laughs> you know, that's the other thing. That's, that's a turn off. You know. Yeah. Because that would have to change, and I and I can weather through a lot of stuff in order until things change. But it's, 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 it's um, uh, it really helps really that we both communicate, not, not just the typical, the typical things, things that people say, say like, that are dysfunctional. That are dysfunctional. Like, yeah. Uh, I, don't get, I don't get enough sex, yeah. you know. Well, that, well, that could be true, yeah. and it, but you have to go beyond that. I don't get enough sex, and I, I want it, but without the... So when you think, like... Well, first of all, do you think about approaching? I think you think about approaching me a lot of times, and you want to. And I did last night, but I was kind of tired, and I was in the middle of my dream. Well, that you did what you did last night and the other night is like you just turned softly, and you became more sensual in the way that you were looking at me and everything, and I responded. This is when you were asleep. But, but I, yeah. Well, no, but you did it when, this morning. This morning. just when we said goodnight, you, you just were very wonderful, and, but it, when you want sex for me, I'm assuming you do sometimes, I mean, I'm, I'm not, say, I'm not yeah. saying yeah. That you never want it, but you never act on it, what happens, do you come up against some, what do you stop at, do you just don't know how to approach me, do you think I'm not going to want it? What, there's like this point you stop and hold back. Um, um, Am I wrong? It's, 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 I, it's, it's, well, well, it's more, more than I have to develop, develop a whole sexuality in order to come towards you. Yeah, I and mean, I may have something, something going on, but then, but then we're talking in other modes, and it's, it's, it's the urge, maybe it's libido, I don't know. It's not, it's not strong, strong enough. There are other, there are other things, things going on during the day, or, or, or I could, you know, I, I put things in a way, like, it's, it's confronting. It's just, I'm vulnerable to put myself, to put myself out. out there. It's good to know that you feel sexual all the time. So there's there's the river is flowing all the time. I can just dip my wick in. It's true though. I mean, I do feel ready whenever, and I I I know like there have been times when you just you know 
you've approached me like that, and it's been so much fun for me because it was effortless, you know, for me. It was just great. I think there is a very wrong idea that a man is always ready, and a woman isn't. The woman is always ready, but the man is always ready. Yes. Well, in this case, the woman's are always ready, and the man is. <laughs> I have to remember that the, the, the woman. No, I think it's common. No, no, I, I know it's a bad. The other way around. I know that's, I know that's the I common think. thing that people think. Yes. A man is a man, so if you undress yourself, uh, he's ready. It's not true. Absolutely not. Yeah. Right. So, um, now you've been uh, uh, having a relationship for many years. Have you ever simply told each other that you want to have sex, that you'd like to have sex, quite simply? Yes. Okay. But we never, it never. Sorry, can we say that? We can no, say that we, do we say that? Yes, we have said that. Like every time yeah. I visited, every time we were together, every time I visited Chicago, we said we were going to do that. And a lot of times I would start out, I'd, I, when, before I got there, I'd decide, like, I'm going to start out on the right foot and I'm going to, like, approach, like, I'm going to hug and kiss Greg and maybe stroke him a little yeah. bit or whatever. But then the end of the trip comes and nothing really didn't progress beyond that. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. And uh, Greg, was t Greg was telling me this morning that when he was doing all the other stuff, like he wanted to be wanted and he went out and uh, he felt really bad about himself. Like, it was on yeah? the dark side. It's, it's not, not if I want sex, but if I'm not, if I'm with you, even tenuously, you know, we haven't seen each other for right. a while, and I'm going out and not telling you, and not, I, I just have to be honest about it, I have to be myself, to be myself, I have to be honest, to really be free, and, 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 and to live. I agree on that. What do you think, Franny? Well, I'm not. I'm not sure what Greg is saying. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. No, uh, no, but that, that little thing. But that going out, yeah. Um, it, I, I'm not sure, not sure why he said that either. I felt I was, I was definitely guilty, guilty and terrible, and felt did not feel good. But at the same, the same time, time, I still felt that I was guilty. I did things that went out with other people. people. It was. It was You know, that was, that was the dark side, because why was I doing that? It didn't feel right, but it felt like something. There was like some sort of demon that I was working out. Like, being a bad person, a bad boy. And I always felt that I was, had to be good, and I was good, and people said, oh, you're a prince, and this and that, what a good boy, and blah, blah, blah. But you never felt like you really lost me. Is that true? No. No. So that's good. I mean, like, you never lost From me. From your point of view, but even so, even if I did feel I lost you, not necessarily bad, except that you might think it was bad. It is what it is. So from your point of view, as far as the relationship, no, I always felt I was in relationship with you, and that was your, my core and foundation. And I had this connection with you that I was and maybe I just maybe I just see I think that the dysfunctional part for me is I just didn't realize that I thought that I had to be a certain way or be that I that I wasn't good enough I just wasn't the right thing that's interesting you know and that like that's why Greg was doing all this stuff not because Greg had a problem but because I was the bad one. Right. And, well, in terms of my feeling sexual with you, there's me and there's you. 
truth, and you were talking about yourself, and I think what you hit upon earlier today about the femininity, allow yourself to have, not just be, and I was talking about it as being more one-dimensional, where we don't take care of ourselves, we don't even try to be attractive. Now, I understand, I said I'm, I'm used to that through being around the scientific community. And you just attracted to the person in the mind of the earth, and that is something. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get turned on by intelligence and by character and all that. There are many things, yes. There are many things, but part of it is the feminine, you know. I, you know, I, I definitely am attracted to someone who has verb and has an attraction to her. Let's not forget Chemistry. Chemistry is something. It's just it's, it's not, important. I'm not really sure what it quite is. How can I say you feel you feel attracted to a person is not something rational, it's something purely physical. You understand? It, I think, yeah, but I think it's more than physical, but physical gets very strong. Yes? Yeah. So, what's, in terms of Greg and me, what does that mean? Well, I've always been, felt like I just was very attracted to Greg and his energy and everything about him, and it was not explained by how he was or what he did or anything like that. I don't know how Greg feels. You know, maybe can you tell her, Greg, are you willing to? Um, you can say no, of course. Well, I'm not sure what to say. Um, uh, I, I've always been attracted to a total view. And I remember saying to myself, self, this was back in 1982 or 80. I said, she, any guy, the guy who was with Franny is really lucky because she's going to make him a winner. Because she's just a winner. She's got everything. And so I count my lucky stars that you like me and you love me. It's um, a revelation to me. And it's Dawn up that I dawn up on me that I am love and I can love in return and let that love in. Because to me it was you know like sort of I believed the love, but it was romantic love. I had to go out and produce it and do this thing where infatuation reminds me of someone else we talked to a lot who lives in the western part of the US. And and then there was just the General love of being someone and loving someone, but I can have all of it, both of it, and that's the what I start out with and say what's in the way is I didn't want it. It's not that I didn't want it, but I don't want it. I don't make the effort and say I want it and communicate and actually go for what I want. And that has been one of the things in my life. I have been there to support, to be there, what is wanted and needed. I will do this, and I will serve, and I can run things, I can lead things out of just it's what needs to be done. You know, do I need to be President of the United States? I could be up for that. I could do that. Well, you did admit, like, one of our conversations before you came was that you finally, after I asked you a lot of questions, you finally said, yes, I want you. Yes. yes. When, was when was that? that? When I said that? Uh, back in like J J June or July when we were talking, we, we talked every day to see if, to work, you know, on just to communicate every day and we went into these long uh oh. Right. My window has disappeared. Just a second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
Well, uh, I can keep... That was, uh, you know, we had to follow up with that. And I, again, see, I didn't follow up. I was very convenient for me to be out of town because I could then not confront. I could not... Exactly, and that's why I thought that you left in the first place was that you didn't... You were starting to really have trouble sustaining your relationship you know, like whatever was bothering you and then this thing with your father came up and I felt like you just jumped on it and left uh -huh. and that that was very that you manifested that like and then even when you were going to come here you manifested your father getting really sick and I thought well Greg is still going through it but then you went through it and we've been t we were talking a lot and then you manifested being able to come here and really face it sure. I feel like you were ready to face it and before, maybe you weren't. You know, maybe you just had all this stuff going on. You didn't know what to do, and you were worried about stuff and your father and everything else. <clears throat> and um, but I took anyway. You said you wanted me, and I know that there have been signals that you've given me over the years, and I've missed a lot of them. Like at one time, you wrote me the email that said you missed me terribly. I just. I didn't get it. I didn't get that you were that you were having so much trouble with it or even when you came here last time I I have no inkling that you were going through any doubts or whatever it was that you were going through <clears throat> because you never talked about anything. You never like said, you know, I'm having I'm this is killing me and all you would do is bicker with me and argue like we were right. You know, over the stupidest things like and I I couldn't take them seriously, but I mean, I just couldn't stand it anymore, and I yelled back, you know, I mean, right. every time I spoke to you on the phone, it was like it would dissolve into this bickering. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely produced, produced that, that. Yeah. and you didn't see that I was just in really trouble, really. Sick. I did, I'm sorry. But you I, did, you know, you did, but, but, you, were but you were close, close to me, so, so therefore it wasn't like what you might do with a client or with with some other person that you're talking with and well, that's why even even when but even then I would yell at you because I didn't, I didn't, didn't want to be I didn't want to, I didn't want to get well right well I mean I know that when I finally called you up and asked you know, I asked you I said well like what are you seeing somebody else like it was like you were on the point of telling me something but you never said it you never said it you never said it and then when you said it like I, you know, women can intuit these things, maybe most people can, so I, I asked you about it straight out, and then you started telling me things, and I can see why the whole thing happened that you did, you know, recently, and maybe you were not emotionally involved with it, but I'm sure she encountered the same things I'm encountering, and I'm beginning to understand, I can see a bigger picture, but I still love and want you, and I still am you know, really attracted to you and love having sex with you and you know, I want to clear up the things that are in the way of that you know, just... Okay, what do you think uh, you should clear up? If you were talking to your mind, what, what do you think uh, are the things uh, that should be cleared up? Well, from my point of view I think that I have to recognize that Greg, that's who, like, you know, if he has a problem, that's who he is, and, but it, how can I say it? I just didn't realize that he was having difficulty, so now that I know he ha he's having difficulty, I approach it in a different way, and I can, I, I see where I had difficulties also, and I can approach that differently and uh, I still don't I still don't know how I can well I want I want sex all the time when it doesn't happen and then when we had we had really good sex like I guess on Sunday I'm okay for a couple days you know it's, it's not as bad right but well, you... if it goes on for weeks and months then it's like really bad <laughs> Sort of a rule of thumb every other day, every two or three days. Right. Or more. What, what about you, Greg? How often do you need sex? Uh, 
So see, you're talking about how you have to be, rather than what is it that you really feel like you want, as far as... I'm telling you what I want. Okay. I want I'd, like, I'd like you to be very specific. Yes. 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 yes, and I was saying that. Okay, that's why yeah, I answered that already, but I'll say it again. I don't really know. Mm. But... And that can be determined. But it seems like every now and then, but like every two days, or maybe three days. Mm, okay. It could be a little more often. Mm -hmm. I've not been around, I've been living alone for six and a half years. Yeah, sure. So now I'm back here talking a lot with Franny for one week now. For a little less than one week. Yeah. So we've been talking every day. And in close contact, it would be different. Probably. It depends on how we were. And, you know, I could talk hypothetically about sex with anyone or sex with Franny, and that's to be determined. Well, we're just talking about every other day, and maybe we do sexual things, but it's not like really close sex. Okay, are you in your mental body now? Mm, somewhat. Yeah. I'm just. Yeah, I, I find like well, just being um. Okay, I'm not gonna blame this. I don't like looking at the screen with light in my eyes and things like that. And I. Do you feel defensive right now? Um, yeah, because I don't know. Uh, I, I do feel, I feel somewhat defensive. So I will go back to not being defensive. And kind of balance my body. You know very well, you are not here to, 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 to judge you or to corner you. We are discussing to help you. Okay? I'm your friend, your friend is your lover. But so I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Rosella. See, this way he is right now, this is what I find difficult to be with. Because it doesn't okay. seem like I'm in the I'm in the equation anywhere there. Like I'm I'll okay. Be... Let me butt in. Okay, this is good. What you're saying is right on the money, Franny. By the way, let me butt in. I want everybody to test how many bodies does sex affect when you have sex? How many bodies does it affect? I like it all. Well, where's the rest of the people? Who's I get, I get all? I just test. they're testing. Okay. I get, I get nine. Yeah, I got nine. Okay. Now, uh, it might affect all for them though. Now, here's the thing. If you notice when Greg talks about it, and he's saying, "I don't know if it's sex I need. I need a relationship." He does this whole like song and dance, you know. And as you were saying, it's like you're not in the equation. Right, Franny? That's right. He's having thing. like this mental conversation. Yeah, it's idea. totally mental. And okay, the thing is, like, Greg actually doesn't know when he needs sex. And and when you were talking to him about his affairs and the other his other activities where he was going and having sex with women, if you, if you listen to how he talked about it, he was talking about what he wanted and what he needed. It was all a head trip. Like there was no like driving feeling there. It was all the, all the tetric. Like he was he was trying to figure out what to do for himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, because he's... People are like, people are sick, they're suffering, and they're in this immune dysfunction. Right. Like, obviously, all of his behaviors is masked of his immune dysfunction, and it's been you know, a mix of his immune dysfunction. And he was trying, like, that's what, they're, they're going from one immune dysfunction to another, trying to make this bad feeling go away. Where what he, Greg needed to do was have sex with you. <laughs> he was, and the bad feeling would go away, you know, because that's what it does. You know, it, it, it's sex clears things. Like it's, a, it's melding, re reaffirmation, communication, territorial. It has a lot of functions. And as you said, as you tested, it affects between nine and twelve bodies. So I'll leave you on that. Now don't get a hang up again. Thank you, buyer. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and so, so I, mean, I just want to just, can you, excuse, just uh, excuse me, Freddie. Uh, can you test, Greg, if you feel threatened? No, by, by, by this discussion, by what we are doing now. Um, I have a feeling of being threatened. Yeah. Okay, can you remove it? Uh, yeah, I have a, and relax. I have a feeling of being threatened all the time, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay, it, it's important to know. Yeah. It's important. Is your feeling threatened uh, trauma based? Wait, wait, wait. What was the question you asked before that? Did oh you... my god, I don't remember. Who remembers? Okay. Uh, I asked you if you felt threatened. Did that. And then right now. Yeah, right now. Right, 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 now. right now, yeah, right now. By the discussion, discussing the, this topic in particular. Um, oh, 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 it's whether I can clear that, and that's what it was. Yes, yeah. I can. Clear yeah. it. That's what I want to go back to. Okay. Talking about it. Okay, clear it. Do you feel a difference? I do. I, do. I was first of all, I had a feeling of what's going on, not knowing anything, and then I said, "Well, I do know. I know what I know." So, so um, I certainly have. Well, put out something about myself that covered me from not knowing or being threatened. I put out a and, and I just want to mention to you, Rousseau, that he and I talked about this, like, you know, even though he wanted, like, he, he made calls and he, you know, he called women back and things like that, it was really up to the woman still to pursue sex. And, but I don't know if Greg, uh, Greg, you felt satisfied with that because somehow inside of yourself, I think you want to have the feeling. You know, there were times that I wanted sex. I was very clear about it. It was this visceral, bodily, bodily thing. Right. And, and, and you know, I want you. But it was not sex in a relationship. Sex. Yeah, of course. And of course, the relationship was part of it, but that's not something I would include in it, therefore it's not satisfying that way. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like you like to... Like I said, but... I'd like you to tell something. Um, when you felt the need of sex, or when it, when it happens to you, uh, you could death and friend is away, just if it's because you need to prove something to yourself. It's 
not the words I would have used, but yes. yes. Yeah, he calls okay. it. He calls it learning. He learns about himself. I would, I would want to see myself a certain way, or right. yeah, I would want to. Have relieved the immune dysfunction. Yes. What is the difference? Uh, one thing I'm not, I'm just not feeling about myself the same way. <laughs> Okay. My steel hole. Good. Um, I know who I am. Yeah. Let's see, Bart. I can't. Okay. <laughs> We're going to need to complete. All right. All right. So, so I, I've had various, various levels of signals, and this is very clear, full, full signal right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't. Okay. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think that there's something in here that is could still be worked on some more. Yeah, next session. Okay. Next session. Because okay. this, well, this, the way that you, when you felt threatened and you got through it a little bit this time, but there is this hesitation and this uh, uncertainty about what is right or what you want, that is what really isn't, for me, is in the way. Like, that stops you cold from having sex. Whatever you're going through, it might even be more than I even know. It it feels like that stops you. Like you just yeah. you get in this state 
and you even look the same, you feel, it's like, I, and I can feel my anxiety rising in response, like, oh no, how am I going to, what am I going to, you know, like, how do I fit in here, you know, what do I do? So, anyway, we could work some more on it, you know, next time. I think that many men are affected by a performance anxiety. Yeah. Well, yeah, I feel I have responsibility in things that I do that I don't necessarily want to do if I'm given my druthers. As I said before, I do them because they're there. Yeah. Can you say, Steve, uh, performance anxiety is a dysfunction related to sex? Okay, Franny, can you can you tell if you have that dysfunction? Anxiety performance? Yeah. No. Okay, Greg, yes. Again, yes. What? Excuse Do you me. Have a performance? Excuse me. We have to get off. What I have to, I, Ross. Yes? Ross, can you hear me? Of course. Okay, well, a moment ago, I was saying that you need to complete. Yes. yes. Now, that doesn't mean okay. you have to hang up right now, but starting new lines of inquiry isn't really the way to complete. So right. get, get complete on this session, um, okay. and, you know, and then you'll have plenty of things to work on with Greg, I guess, on Friday when you meet with him then. Okay, yes. so, so go ahead okay. and do that now. We were at a good, okay. I think we're at a good You're condition. at a good point, right. We're at the point. Because, yeah, okay. Greg, you did get something. You got you got through something, which is good. You, know, so. you have some work to do, and uh, your husband, Greg, is to test uh, if you have that dysfunction, performance anxiety, oh, and yeah. if yes, uh, remove it, okay? And then uh, uh, we'll meet. Uh, well, Let's first see. of all, we are going to, to meet so on either Friday. You can tell me if you okay, prefer Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, great. So I'm going to call I'm, you in. I'm, I'm finding it hard to hear. Okay, I'm going to call you on Skype in a couple of minutes. Now, do you guys have okay. your handhelds? Did you get my okay. text? Okay, we're, we're, done. we're done. So we, we finished. Let's so say, ciao, 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 sayonara, arrivederci. Okay, thank you very much. Do me a favor. Thank you, Rosella. Thank you. I love you both. I love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. I love all of you. Bye. <laughs>